Is now the time to jump back on DD Global? Let's start the countdown and find out. Welcome back to the Investor Place Launchpad. We take a look at trending investment ideas and try to rocket them to the moon. I'm Head of Mission Control, Aaron Davis, and this week we're examining where we've been and where we could be going with Chinese ride-hailing company Didi. As always, before we dive in, we'd love to continue to grow our channel here at Investor Place, so feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell to stay up to date with us here at the Launchpad. With all of that out of the way, let's dive right into what happened with Didi Global and where it might take us. Founded in 2012 in Beijing, DD Global positions itself as the world's leading mobility technology platform. The business offers a wide range of app-based services across markets that include Asia-Pacific, Latin America, and Africa. The company's mission to build a better journey began as a taxi-hailing service and has since created a range of services and apps which provide a suite of offerings that include ride-hailing, taxi-hailing, chauffeur, hitch, and other forms of shared mobility and auto solutions, offering food delivery, intracity freight, and financial services. DD has won numerous awards since its inception, including Forbes' top 10 companies behind the 2020 Midas list. However, in July of 2021, the company began facing a range of problems in the wake of the Chinese government initiating a range of cybersecurity reviews and crackdowns. These investigations restricted the company from registering new users and prohibited the download of the app. As a result, many wondered if the company would be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. With a rough outlook for the company and less than a year after Didi listed its shares in the US, the Chinese ride hailing company said its shareholders approved its plan to delist from the New York Stock Exchange, concluding a regulatory roller coaster ride that sent its market value plummeting. Didi reportedly filed a delisting notification with the SEC on June 2nd, which means that shares would stop trading around June 12th. However, Monday morning saw the ride-hailing company up more than 65%, surging after news that the Chinese authorities would be ending their crackdown on the company. While DD Global is still expected to pay a large fine, it's predicted that once it is paid, it will end the regulatory probe of the company, leaving it to operate freely and restore its app in domestic stores moving forward. It seems the move by the Chinese government is welcomed as a positive one by investors, as the company now is free to operate normally, providing the company with a steady stream of revenue, as the government authorities seem to be focused on domestic economy issues rather than concern themselves with privately run companies like Didi. Does this mean that the company's worries are about to be left to the past and now is the time to invest? Well. Not exactly. While the easing of the crackdown in China is positive, Didi revealed in May of this year that it is being investigated by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in relation to its IPO. The SEC investigation remains ongoing and unresolved, and it could lead to punitive action against Didi Global, depending on what is ultimately found by the American authorities. As IP contributor Joe Baglole illustrates, Today's jump in the DD stock price is impressive. However, investors should keep in mind that it is still a penny stock that was trading at less than $2 per share until now. It is also a volatile security, and the Chinese government is known to be unpredictable. As the SEC investigation of DD Global continues, the situation with DD stock could change quickly. While you may not want to add DD Global to your buy list just yet, it was still down 85% prior to yesterday's announcement. IP contributor Steve Buyans recently looked at the top five oversold Chinese stocks you should buy before they rebound. Buyans suggests that while Chinese stocks are currently oversold due to investors' risk aversion and Wall Street analysts remain divided, key metrics agree that there are still plenty of excellent Chinese stocks to buy. For the full breakdown, you can head on over to InvestorPlace.com, but Buyans suggests the following. Billy Billy, Billy Billy's millennial and Gen Z conversion rate is impressive, leaving it with a robust sales pipeline. Huya is a dark horse that could enter a multi-year bull run once the market's reaction to systemic issues find calm. Alibaba, investors need to remember that Alibaba is the ultimate labor and goods arbitrage facilitator out there. Additionally, the stock's trading at a mega discount. JD, JD stock will receive support from the economic cycle once China's lockdowns ease off. And finally, NEO. Transitory supply chain issues have caused risk conversion among investors. NEO stock could rebound once the global supply chain normalizes. Buyan surmises that with investor sell off of risk aversion assets, many stocks are now left undervalued. The companies he suggests are also American depository receipts, which is another reason he stands by these picks. While Buyan is quick to highlight the country's political situation as unpredictable, he also believes there's undoubtedly been an overreaction from most stock market participants. Buyan writes, 
Morgan Stanley's Lisa Chalet recently opined worries over China's growth path and monetary policy have recently hampered equity performance, but investor concerns may be overblown. I'm in complete agreement with Chalet. As someone who understands investors' overreaction to the ups and downsides, I can tell you that Chinese equities will surge once investors start acting rationally. Didi certainly paints a picture of risk when investing in Chinese stocks, but that doesn't mean that there aren't picks out there that can offer gains. With global economies becoming more intertwined and dependent, research and fundamentals are most likely an investor's best friend. But what do you think? Are Didi's problems purely in the rear view? Will the SEC investigation amount to another dip? What Chinese stocks are you interested in? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, that's all we have in the Launchpad this week. If you'd like more insights like this and Steve Buyan's full breakdown on Chinese stocks to buy before they rebound, head on over to InvestorPlace.com where we release articles daily. And as always, check back with us here at the Launchpad where we will continue to look for trends like Didi and Chinese stocks. And as always, try to shoot for the moon. <laughs>